my dear little stars how are you all i hope you all are fine so it's time to do some study today we will start our new chapter that is chapter 3 the chapter name is word processor word 2016 it's a part 1 of chapter 3 so let's get started with the chapter our first topic is word processor Word processor is one of the most used program on a computer for creating a document. Children, we use computer for many works, okay? For drawing, for typing, for studying, for playing games, many things. So, word processor is used for typing. And typing, हम कहाँ करते हैं? Document में. So, it also gives many facility of adding. Means to add something. formatting means to change the look and saving the document very easily matlab document ko easily save karna so word processor means it is a document in which we can use by typing and we can do editing formatting and saving now see in this picture word processing is written so it is telling that how many works a word processing features can do it can create means it can create a new document it can edit okay means to add on something after editing we can save and after saving we can easily print it so what is the process first we write and create a document if we want to do some at that time we will do editing then after doing editing we will do save and the last is print if we need it so this is the main work of word processing what we usually do nowadays Now we will see about the features of word processor. The first feature is layout setting. It is used to set page look by setting margin of the page means it show how the page is looking and what margin we should need to left for the page. As example if i said that in your school notebook at every page in left hand side one margin was there okay in that margin that is a vertical line okay in that margin you have to write the question number answer number okay and the right hand side the biggest space in that biggest space you will write the answer or question so that question answer number space is called margin so in word processor we use layout setting to give the margin of the page and how the page look you can see in this picture the layout setting is available in the page layout tab that is present on the menu bar it show about the margin orientation size and columns of the page this is present in the page setup group so our next topic is multimedia children you are well known about multimedia you use this multimedia section mostly for photo editing so it is used to make the document more attractive by adding images chart table videos etc means if you want to create a document by giving some more instruction in a more creative way you can use this multimedia section In this section you can add images chart tables and videos even you can add different images with different shapes also which which makes your document more attractive which makes your page what you have written your content more and more attractive Here I have given a simple example of multimedia that is photo editing a sun rising photo is there which is shown in a figure that is call out okay this picture is shown in a call out figure 
that makes this picture more and more attractive if i show this picture in a simple way it is okay that it is a normal picture but if you send this picture if you save this picture make this picture in a more attractive inner shape way then it will be looks more good than the normal one this is the use of multimedia which helps us to make the document more and more attractive which make the user or the receiver to understand easily what we want to say now it's time to move on our next topic that is spelling and grammar word processor gives facility to check spelling and grammar in the document we can easily check spelling and grammar but what show that the spelling is mistake that is the red wavy line if the line is red in your text any line any text is underlined with red color that is spelling mistake and if it is underlined with blue color that is grammar mistakes so we can easily recognize the spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes in our document it is available here spelling and grammar option is there which is used to check the spelling and grammar of particular text now the next topic is thesaurus now what is thesaurus in simple word if i say that if you want to check any word different meaning of that word different antonym different synonym so for that we will use the word thesaurus the menu the command thesaurus which helps to show about the document word in that document different synonym and antonym without leaving the document you can see here i have written equipment after clicking on that equipment there is two option is there gear and stuff this is the two synonym is given here but when you find any word in the ms document it's so many synonym and antonym of the document i am giving just example here is two synonym of equipment gear and stuff if you want to replace the word equipment with the another word gear we can easily select and replace it now the next topic is auto correct it automatically correct common error as example if by mistake i have written g w t i want to written get okay but by mistake i have written g w t then it automatically convert in get g e t i am not giving an instruction to the system to convert it but the system automatically convert it from g w t to g e t now the question arise how the system convert the system know everything actually yes the system know because system is having a oxford dictionary installed in the ms office software which helps us to easily recognize the word and replace the error with the correct word i have written gwt that is the error that is the wrong word but system know that there is a word get which it can be replaced to get the proper meaning so gwt is replaced by get get or in this picture if any word is written wrong the underline is there okay you have to just click on that word and it will show many options regarding that word it show the different options regarding that word that which one is correct and which one is not we can easily select it and use it in our document now our next topic is header and footer it provide a facility to put header and footer on the document which will apply automatically on every page okay children now what is header and footer it is written here that it will apply on the every page but what is have you seen it yes you have seen it in your book any subject book okay in your book there is page number is given in every subject 
सॉरी एवरी पेज ओके पेज नंबर इज गिवन इन एवरी पेज इन होल बुक फ्रॉम वन टू सपोज देर आर ट्वेंटी सिक्स पेजेस टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड दिस पेज नंबर आर इन डाउनवर्ड सेक्शन डेट्स मीन इन फुटर फुटर मतलब पैर फूट ओके सो इन योर बॉडी फूट इज इन योर डाउनवर्ड सेक्शन द सेम इन हेडर फुटर कमांड फुटर इज इन द डाउनवर्ड सेक्शन सो इफ यू अप्लाइड फुटर द पेज नंबर ऑलवेज आर इन द प्रजेंट इन द डाउनवर्ड सेक्शन नाउ वॉट इज हेडर हेडर मीन्स सर हेड इन योर बॉडी वेयर इज योर हेड इन द अपर्ड ओके सो ना वॉट इज हेडर इन हेडर वी कैन सी मोस्टली द बुक नेम इन योर बुक एट एवरी पेज और एट आफ्टर वन पेज मीन्स अल्टरनेटिव पेजेस बुक नेम इज देयर ओके सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू राइट हंड्रेड पेजेस तो वट यू विल डू वी विल राइट इन एवरी पेजेस पेज नंबर एंड बुक नेम और स्मार्टली वी कैन यूज हेडर एंड फुटर कमांड टू अप्लाई बुक नेम एंड बुक नंबर एज हेडिंग और एज फुटिंग डाउनवर्ड्स बाई राइटिंग ओनली वंस सो यू कैन सी इन दिस इमेज इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द फाइल ग्रुप पेज सेटअप ग्रुप हेडर एंड फुटर by clicking on header and footer we can easily create the header and footer in every page now the last feature is mailers and labels some of the word processor gives facility to create mailers or print labels this is the also the important features we can use in ms word to make it more and more effective so these are the common important features which we can easily use in any word processor i hope you have understood about the features and what is word processor in next video we will meet by knowing about the ms word how to start and the components of ms word so it's time to do the worksheet solve the worksheet we will meet in next part part 2 of this chapter thank you